Hi, my name is Tom and today I want to talk to you about yet another set of diffusion filters. This time I have the black diffusion effects from Tiffin. I have three versions this time. I have the half, the one and the two. And I have some footage as well, so enjoy. Thank you so much for the continued support on my videos. I'm very happy with the views and likes I'm getting and lots of comments. This is very fun for me. Um, I'd also would really love it if you can subscribe to my channel. I would really, really like to hit 100 subs before the end of this year. And yeah, what a year, am I right? So just come along with me and I have some great content planned for the future. So please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so first of all, I want to make sure that you all know what these filters are even used for, what their purpose is. And yeah, if you want a more detailed explanation, you can go to my other video about the Black Promist, which is the most popular one out there. And yeah, there I explain more into how and why you should use these filters, why they play an essential part, in my opinion, to making your movie look like a movie. The short explanation is that all these filters really try to bring back a more organic, more film-like feel to your videos that you otherwise won't really get with these modern digital sensors. And yeah, some filters have a very like heavy approach, are very noticeable, some are more dreamlike, some are more hazy and some are very subtle in the way they diffuse your picture. And this filter is definitely one of the more subtle ones and I will get more into that later in this video. So this is one of the few filters where you can, in my opinion, really see that it's a specialized kind of diffusion filter in terms of appearance because you can instantly notice these black spots sprinkled everywhere. It looks like fine pepper or something, but you can instantly notice it uh, compared to the Black Promist where it just looks like a bit of dust is on the glass. So yeah, it's very interesting how these things differ and how the actual effect on your video will look like. But this filter definitely has a noticeable appearance. You can definitely tell something was done to the glass. Now let's see what this filter actually does. As you can see in the comparison, the filter really does one main thing and that is smoothing out detail. It really focuses only on that thing in particular. Like there's no change in contrast no uh, big halation, there's a tiny bit but not very much. There's no haze-like or fork-like effect in uh, the video. So it really does one thing, smoothing out the detail, making everything more creamy, more soft, and that's about it. Um, if you compare it to the Black Promise, as you can see, uh, there's already a contrast change and you get this more mist, more haze-like feel. And of course, it also smooths out the detail, but it does all the other things as well. So. 
The black diffusion filter is really in a specialized way, only focusing on this one thing, smoothing out detail and pretty much nothing else, which is very interesting. So I'd say this filter is a great choice if you don't really want your footage to look like you used some sort of effect filter, if that makes any sense. It's a very subtle approach and it focuses, as I said, only on this one thing, smoothing out details, making everything more creamy, more, yeah, not even creamy, just more soft and less detailed, but in a very, very unnoticeable way. There's only just one thing that it really does and the rest you don't have to worry about. It doesn't bend the light like a soft effects. It doesn't add crazy halation like the black promised. It really only does this one thing and it does it very, very well. But what do I dislike about these filters? As always, um, they are Tiffin filters, so you're gonna have to pay some money for it. With these filters in particular, their effect isn't that strong, even in stronger densities, so they don't really get cheaper if you go up the density. So yeah, you're gonna have to pay some money for them, and I always suggest buying uh, one of the bigger versions, like 77mm or 82, so you can put them on all your lenses. That way you don't have to buy these filters all over again. The other thing about these filters is that I really don't need uh, the lighter densities. I don't really see a need for them. I mean, if you compare zero filtration to half uh, black diffusion, there is a difference. Yes, you can notice it if you directly compare it, but other than that, it's just too subtle for me. And I know filmmaking is more, or is about less is more, but in this case, I really would like a bit of a stronger effect. And I guess this is just my personal preference, but in general, I like my picture to look different. I like there to be a noticeable effect on uh, the light and on the skin. I want this to stand out in a way and not to be too unnoticeable. And in this case, the lighter densities, even the one is just not enough for me. So at the end, I will probably only use the Black Diffusion 2 and might even go for a stronger density in the future if I uh, can afford one. But yeah, the lighter densities don't really make that much sense to me. Again, this is just my opinion and my personal taste. You might have a different opinion on that. And that's also why I used the Black Diffusion 2 and not some lighter densities on a short film I did a while ago. Um, it worked very well for that in my opinion. There were some scenes with lots of sun, natural sun in the background. And with a black promise the picture would have just blown out completely. And this filter kept everything to a minimum with the halation and smoothed out the details, the hair, the skin and made, made everything look very pleasing in my opinion. I will link it somewhere here or in the description and I would really like it if you uh, gave it some attention or love. Uh, it's kind of weird that uh, these filter videos or all these reviews uh, get basically more attention than the actual like stuff we use it for, like short films or music videos and stuff like that. It's very bizarre, but that's YouTube, I guess. So if you have the time, please check out the film. So that's it for this video. Um, it's already getting dark outside, so I hope the picture won't be too underexposed, but yeah, who cares. Um, I hope I was able to help you with your buying decision. Um, keep in mind, these are all my opinions and diffusion in general is a very controversial topic sometimes. Lots of opinions out there, some people like it more subtle, uh, some people like it a bit stronger, some people like it very strong. So keep that in mind, I hope my take felt honest and uh, I was able to help you with your buying decision. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to leave a like, write a comment uh, if you have a question or just want to tell me something and please, please subscribe to the channel because uh, this will motivate me to do more of these videos and I have lots of ideas for the future. So come along, subscribe to the channel and yeah, that's it. See you next time.